Then, all right, let me reload this. Um, reloading so we can see chat. Hello, hello everyone. Hello Suki. Hello Minna. Let me just reload chat so I can actually read um what's happening today. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. Okay, good, 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 good. I think we're set finally. Oh wait, no. No, maybe I need to go click on my channel again. I wish this was smoother. I'm sure we're gonna figure out a smoother way to do this in the future. <laughs> there you go, there you go, there you go. Perfect, beautiful. Okay, I can see chat now. Happy 900 subs. Thank you, Suki. Woo! Hi, Minna. Um, very excited. Me too. Honestly, um, I wasn't going to do digital today. I was going to the, the per usual. But I discovered something digital related today and I want to share it. Um, so very excited for that. I drew a kawaii potato. Cute. Look at all those potatoes. Drew Sakura trees today. Hey, let's go. I drew anime characters today. Me too. I, I drew um, Sabo today. Here, I want to show you guys my, my discovery. Kind of discovery-ish. Hi, Determined. Welcome to stream. Um, okay, so... I think I'm going to draw just doodle characters today. I think I'm going to start out with Mikey since Determined is here. I drew Toso today. Yay, let's go. Um, I drew Rosie for Mello to practice, to practice, because I was going to do that live um, and like figure out if it was actually possible doing this live. But yeah, this is my drawing today. Sabo from One Piece and I tried out a new style today um, Usually when I do shadows, I carve out shadows like I like Erase the shadows away, but today I did something different and I added lights first before I added shadows and I ended up really liking it So we're gonna doodle a few things um, Using that technique. So I'm gonna start out with Mike here. Hello diamond. Welcome to stream Alrighty, alrighty, we can start. And you know, I can talk a little bit about my digital process, I guess. You know, have it somewhere documented. Wait, is it? Is my screen frozen? Is it frozen for you guys? Let me reload this. Maybe it's just my computer. Sometimes my PC acts up. So hopefully it's not actually frozen. <laughs> draw Maharaga? Sure, I'll draw Maharaga after Mikey. So I'm gonna draw Mikey first. Yes, I love I love all of Tokyo Revengers like character design. Another one of um another great um what's it called? Another great series that has very like individual characters. Okay, let's see. So we can just have him. I think my number one struggle with things is like how to pose a character. Uh, I'm gonna find like because I don't want to cop like for digital specifically, I don't want to like copy directly. Um, so I'm gonna go open up another Pinterest. Actually, you know what? Let's look for it together. Why not? Let's go through my Pinterest because I'm on my tablet anyway. Um, when was the last time you remembered? Uh, there's no going back in life. Oh, like last thing I remembered. I ate dinner. <laughs> oh wait, I'm offline. I forgot. I keep it offline because um, Ibis Paint has ads. <laughs> so <laughs> I usually turn off my Wi-Fi when I use Ibis Paint. Okay, we can reload that. Hello. Okay. Let's let's look, let's look for a pose um, for Mikey here. Um, so I have a board called poses, but it usually. The poses board is usually like multiple people poses because that's the one I struggle with. Oh wait, I already have a few poses kind of prepared here. Yeah, so these are my references for Sabo. One Piece fan arts are so pretty. I am. Um, we can do this pose. Let's do some like a little more complicated kind of pose. Uh, click on this. I'm gonna download it. But yeah, I'm starting to get more familiar with with um, Ibis Paint and um, I'm starting to really, really enjoy it. So <laughs> it came from really, really hating it to like, OK, I'm starting to enjoy this. It's cool. And then let's get a let's get a reference for Mikey as well. Uh, let's see here. 
at the day i'm in an art contest i have to draw something cherry blossom related and i'm up against other schools Ooh, wait, that's so fun i love that the theme is cherry blossoms because i know i know like that's like you know anime related uh mikey mikey oh wait i already looked them up um yeah, yeah, yeah i like that i like that uh the screen isn't frozen okay perfect i think it was just on my end then all right t there's manga mikey i only read the manga i think i only watched one season of the anime um so wait let's get one of him colored let's see i tend to use references from the original from the official anime just to like you know not be influenced subconsciously by another person's style but i do yeah it's charged but i do um what you call it what you call it i do like for one piece for example i do look at other artists to get inspiration because you know one piece is so stylized um in those kinds of terms then i look to other people and kind of like oh how did they draw sago that kind of thing all right so this thing this reference window do you guys see this i just found out that it existed literally two literally like three days ago <laughs> and it's really helpful you can like add references um i have my sabo references there that you want to reference in there so every picture that i've downloaded it's just gonna be like a little window on the side here um there you go um let me see let me see wait is mellow here am i not seeing mellow's um messages uh friend me on roblox username is okay let me write that down let me write that down because i'm not... i haven't logged on to the roblox in like i don't know six months <laughs> uh let me see just G Y E Y Q I T salt. Okay. I'm like in complete darkness except for my tablet right now. So I'm like, oh, I can't see it. One time I was going to draw Makamai and I looked at a Pinterest because I never do and immediately closed the tab. Oh, wait, why? You were, were you intimidated? I'm a mangaka in the future, lol. Yes. Speak it into existence. Me too. Or a comic artist or whatever. Okay, so I want to do doodle, so I don't want to like take up the whole page. Um, so let's just doodle Mikey here. Um, the brush I like using for doodle is the mechanical pencil um brush or tool. And I like doing it in sky blue. I honestly think I broke my mechanical pencil tool because this used to work a lot better and uh wait let me see our pose here du, 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 du. okay i only want the upper part and um what is it called it looks weird now like i don't know why but it does see like it like fades out for some reason and gets darker so i don't know i messed with some setting and uh, i can't return it anymore <laughs> wait i think there's a way to reset it actually we'll see we'll see i'm not really 100 percent sure um Oh, I won't be able to be here, but just wanted to stop by. Please don't draw Rosie anyways. Bye and hi. Oh, yeah, Mello was here. No, don't worry. Um, uh, That wasn't the final Rosie, but I did. I did. <laughs> uh, just to practice. It was just to practice. Um, I learned about the ref window a year ago. Yeah, no, I think it's because I used to use Ibis Paint back then. And, you know, back then it didn't have as many features as it did. Okay, with, with this pencil, I actually only like sketching out the... What is it called? just the composition of everything i don't like doing details with this pencil we're gonna just get the composition here his arm kind of just rest on his two knees and you guys can kind of like get a little bit of my process of like actually drawing from imagination because i barely draw from my imagination dur during um like drawing requests kind of um drawing request kind of um times so this is pretty cool wanted to show you guys a little bit okay he's kind of hunched over a little too much but we're just gonna keep it like that i said i was doodling <laughs> i always have to remind myself it's a doodle it's a doodle and then i put this on really low opacity and then i switch to what is it called the fountain pen i just recently started using this fountain pen and i just soup like i don't know i usually i go like red and then just start carving out the detail, but this time make sure that it looks like Mikey in the detail. Oh wait, Mikey's like 
what does he usually wear? He usually wears his tracksuit, so we'll draw that tracksuit um, for him. Um, no, I was blinded. Oh, was it from was it from opening the? Yeah, yeah, it's from from switching the apps. Uh, Sokamona, I think, means your your right. Oh, Soka. I think Soka means like oh. I forgot. I'm sure. I'm sure it means something like that. J Japanese is actually very nuanced, so um, it doesn't like directly, directly translate. I'm actually super zoomed in. Usually, my size of brushes are a lot bigger than this. But wait, did I switch brushes already? I swear I did. Oh yeah, I did. Why is it so light? Oh, cause I'm in my first layer. There you go. Okay, switch layers. Switch layers. Um, ba -ba 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 -bum. I drew OC's character design today her name is blank the reason i didn't put anything was because i don't know her name has to be korean name though oh i might know a few names um omg i love ibis paint yes 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 i'm starting to love it uh there was a there, there was a time of struggle because i switched from medibang into procreate and also like the procreate transition was difficult so i think i'm experiencing the same thing to my ibis paint transition uh should i draw a male if i can if you like you have to choose who though Ooh, can you draw um Ko, which is the which is the other person in TBHK. Um, hey Day, which anime char character should I draw next? Oh, um, let me see. Since you since you watch, actually, let me think. Let me think. <laughs> I was gonna I was gonna ask for Draken, but I feel like I don't know. Mm, a more fun like design character. Draw Tengen Tengen from um demon slayer all right so he has a really cool design he has like a half ponytail kind of thing happening here so we'll see if we can um achieve that this is actually my first time drawing this kind of um hairstyle but i think tokyo revengers art style is very like i wouldn't say similar but it's closer to my original art style because they have very they're just the features the way the features are like you know you know what I mean. Um, hi, Arctic. Welcome to stream. I'm playing Roblox, so I won't chat that much. You're good, Diamond. You're good. Um, I'm up, I prefer uh, Ed to be called Emerson now. Okay, perfect. I will call you Emerson or M. M is cute. Day, what's on the drawing request list today? So far, we only have Mikey since Mello is not here. Um, so if you have another request that you want to like get to today... Um, by all means, let me know. Have you guys heard of Easy by Lee Seraphim? Like, it's stuck in my head right now. <laughs> I definitely struggle more sketching on digital, but it's something I need to improve on, and I think it's perfect to kind of finagle with it. Um, now. <laughs> now. This is my first time, like, also doodling, um, <laughs> this zoomed into the canvas, I've, I'm regretting it, slowly I'm regretting it. Um, Isadora Yuji or Sukuna, okay, okay, um, I'll keep those in mind, let's see, let's see. Um, yes, I will draw core for you, yay, Tengen's a good choice, yes, Tengen is very fun to draw, it's up to you which Tengen you want to draw as well. Um, I think, like, his hair down, um... Hair, hairstyle is really cool. Um, I'll, I think I can draw Yuji. Like, Yuji is really fun to draw. Um, but yeah, the hair down... Um, what is it called? Hair down Tengen is just chef's kiss. Very, very cool. Very, very... Um, Ikemen like you know what I mean? Um, we definitely need to do some resizing here. Because I think I made his eyes too big. That is definitely a habit of mine. Because I tend to draw cuter characters. I just see myself like always sizing up eyes or pupils and I'm just like mm, no <laughs> so we're just gonna we're gonna adjust that all right T um but, but isn't that person from Tokyo Avengers yes uh from uh, Mikey Mikey from Tokyo Avengers um Let's see, let's see. I love Easy. It sounds amazing. Yes, it's so catchy. It's like it's been stuck in my head the whole day. Um, and also, like, I love Lee Seraphim. Um, 
all the I zone groups, Lee Seraphim, I've all those girlies. I love girl groups in general, actually. What am I talking about? Uh, if you like Easy, I recommend Rush by Twice. It's a it's a B side, so it's not a, that popular um, of a song, uh, but it's really really catchy and really you know you know. How was your day day? It was amazing. I was I was packing all day for my trip to Georgia this tomorrow. I'm going to Georgia tomorrow, and I'm going to be seeing a K-pop group called Ive I V E. If you guys like girl groups, I recommend checking them out. Uh, they are my ultimate group, and all their songs are really good. Um, yes, and they're all very cute, and I love them so much. I get so much uh, serotonin listening to them. Um, they are fine yeah tokyo revenger characters um y'all i'm doing a youtube oh check out check out um artics i mean m's m m's um youtube yay could you draw muichiro tokito from demon slayer sure okay so far we have yuji let me write these down so i don't remember i mean i don't forget and muichiro you know what's ironic guys i you know i doodle a lot right you guys specifically ask for yuji slash sukuna right and muichiro Guess what? Wait, I want to show you because this is funny. Oh, I'm going to get an ad. I forgot. Um, whoa, I didn't know I was that zoomed in. Okay, maybe I need to adjust that. <laughs> I doodled Muichiro exactly and Sukuna on the same page. That's wild. Wild. Anyways, um, coincidence? Maybe, maybe not. Not sure. I didn't know I was this zoomed in. Maybe that's why I'm struggling to draw. We're going to resize this a little bit because... Yeah, zoomed in is a little... It's killing me a little bit. Just a tiny bit. I think about that. Okay, perfect. Okay, so this should this should make it easier. It's a little pixelated now, now that we've kind of resized it. But this should be... It should be a lot easier to draw. Not that zoomed in too. Oh wait, now I have to resize my brushes. Make it small. Okay, there you go. The reason why I like um, using the fountain pen to kind of carve out the details of... Um, what's it called? The details of the actual character and everything. And this is not even the final line art. I'll show you guys like my, my line art process. It's because it, it goes down on, on Ibis Paint so easily. There's no lag. I don't like lag when I sketch. So I think that's why... I tend to use it. This music is really scary. Like, I'm in the pitch dark right now. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's see. I might have missed some here. Ba -ba -ba -bum -bum -bum. Wait, do I draw him in my chibi? Him chibi? My style or both? Um, Draw him in your style. In your style. Non-chibi version. Well, technically, like... Um, what's it called? Technically, um, TBHK is like kind of chibi-ish, but yes, draw him in the original style, but uh, not non-chibi, but your style. I want to see. Okay, I'm that's I'm just gonna be randomly humming that song, guys, because it's stuck stuck in my head. Like actually, hi Willow, welcome to stream. Oh, you guys are so cute. Hi, can you please give me tips? Sure. Um, for digital digital tips, I'm kind of going through my process today. So if you want to like hang around and kind of see how um see like how it goes like step by step, um sure so far the the tips actually i haven't actually verbalized it yet but i want to give you guys this tip while we're still here and we're still in the step so my process so far what i like doing um here let's just hide that i like doing construction of the body with like light blue very roughly don't think about it too much just simplify it into shapes this is usually the shapes that are involved there's the rib cage shape there's the pelvis shape there's the spine um, and there's the joints. So you have your shoulder joints, your knee joints, your elbow joints. I didn't really draw it there, but it's there. Joints and then the head. The head shape is made of the circle and the, you know, the chin bar and the cross section of everything. So do that very roughly and then put it down opacity and then next layer is when you actually start constructing the character. Um, I'm not sure, should I follow the... 
yeah he has pretty empty eyes even in the anime so maybe i should just shade his eyes in here or keep it empty i meant but yeah so far that's that's kind of what we've done right now um but yeah stick around if you want to keep seeing kind of like the process uh let's see let's see um day how is your art so good on digital and traditional many many practice <laughs> like um i have been doing this uh for 10 years or something so i started doing traditional and i think it took like maybe three years until i started doing digital because back then digital was not that accessible um yeah usually there um, back then it was only like uh wacom that was available there wasn't any of the other tablets that was available and also like ipad was not pencil ipad pencil was not really a thing um so um there's kind of like a three year difference between that so digital maybe seven years and then traditional 10 years and lots and lots and lots of practice i know it sounds so cliche but it really is here, let's make the hoodie here kind of fall on the shoulder shoulder um it really is like the only like answer i can give you guys um but uh i can give you guys the tips along the way okay wait you're going to wear i've but where's the concert yes i love i've oh my gosh you too suki yes i'm going to georgia we're just gonna be driving there eight hours just stop stopping by to say hi hi goofy um um see you later see you tomorrow um my mom was in georgia friday through wednesday oh wow on the business trip right you you um mentioned that that's so cool all righty so he has a lot of wrinkles um, in his shirt here, and then his arm will extend right here. Yeah, it's kind of rough right now, but that's the goal of this. That's the goal of sketching. Um, I think that's one also another pro tip that I want to give you guys. If you are sketching, don't be afraid to get messy, um, especially in digital. I think digital it's a lot easier to be messy. Um, in sketching, maybe in traditional, keep it a little bit neat so, so you can actually see what lines you're meaning to put down. But with digital, you can go as messy as you want because you can clean up as much as you want in the future layers, basically. So, but a little bit of cleaning up here and there. And then his hands will just, we'll keep his hands simplified and just like, they're there, they're there. <laughs> um and i think i'll keep his other hand down here on the ground his knee is up here and um if i gave him a track suit i think we can give him a track um pants track pants as well right there and right there okay so so far this is t-shirt right here and this is track suit hanging low and then right there so he's kind of like in a crouching position here i'm not gonna draw his feet it'll just be like that okay that is the sketch i will lower down the opacity and then we're gonna go into the line art now at this point we can just mute that composition layer because we don't need it anymore um hey i love and admire your art can you draw hatsune miku i'll write that down but i don't know if we have time today because i'm not sure how long it actually takes me to do digital doodles but yeah i'll add her to the list also i wasn't at school because of my headaches oh okay okay so you have to take a break um feel better yes feel better arctic i mean m <laughs> feel better m uh you're going to georgia ate we're in georgia oh right atlanta georgia I just realized Atlanta, Georgia. Don't say anything though. Don't say anything. yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot to put day on my inspiration wall. Oh, that's so cute. Um, I should I 100% I want to eventually make a like an art wall. So like, yeah, yeah. Next to my desk here would be perfect. I have like an empty spot on my. Actually, my whole wall is empty, so <laughs> it's about it's due time. Okay, so the brush I like using for inking. Oh no no go back is the inking brush and i posted that on my community post if anyone is curious it's up there and usually the size i use is 3.5 but i think because we're so zoomed in well, actually no that'll work out i do 3.5 just do normal actually mm, let's do like dark brown yes um and then i think an important thing if you have like a actual pen that you work with um with your tablet um of course if there's a pen um 
settings this setting over here the pressure sensitivity i don't even know if this is correct but it works for me i just want to show you how it looks like so i have it like kind of that way I, I just played around with it until it felt right to me so my thin lines are very thin and my heavy lines are very heavy so i actually kind of have a hack for my inking here um let's see here uh, Mikey got the Aizawa fit, yeah, <laughs> the tracksuit fit. Um, uh, Mikey's so cute, thank you. I'm gonna draw Ko after I'm finished with this drawing, is that okay? Yeah, no, you're good. Draw Chibi Maharaga, actually, I forgot to add Maharaga into the list. Let me write down Maharaga, because you, you requested Maharaga in the beginning. Good thing you reminded me, Diamond. Maharaga, we can do a Chibi one. Hello, Zavezna! Welcome to Stream Costume again. Yeah! Um, I had to sing for my class and my voice crack. I'm going to lock myself in the room and Day's live stream will be my only human interaction. Uh, to comfort you, um, I did that too in third grade. I, we had a talent show and I was just like, you know what? We're going to sing a Filipino song because I love OPM, which is like uh, original Pinoy music. I think that's what it stands for. And if you know, you know, Suki, you would know, um, a lot of Filipino songs has um, like belting parts or like parts that go really, really high. So I, as a kid, as a third grader, <laughs> my voice cracked and I was like, oh, this good. We're good. <laughs> uh, good times. I like laughing and kind of reliving through those times now. All right, right, right. The tip. Okay. So one tip that I like with inking, uh, uh, stabilizer, just generally like halfway through. And like, you know how sometimes you get caught up in like doing a line over and over again until it looks very, very like exactly how you want it. I tend to not do that. I tend to just very like casually just ink um, by, this is the trick guys, changing how hard you're pressing down. Of course, again, it only applies to people who have a pen um, by changing how like hard you are pressing. And um, I tend to just, I don't know, like by doing that, it looks, it's still shaky. If you guys really zoom in this line, it's still shaky. But because there's line variation, you see how this is thick and this is thin over here. Um, it like adds, like makes, makes it seem like you're meaning to make it look messy. So if you just, <laughs> if you just adjust your art to make it seem like it's messy, like, oh yeah, I totally meant that. Then you don't need to worry about how straight or how clean your line art is see you see how i'm just like scribbling that and i'm pressing at random times like it gives like really cool um line variation um um and you don't need to have it like super neat and perfect it also helps with the bucket tool because just make sure that your lines connect of course um so that your colors don't like leak uh, everywhere so yeah we're gonna keep doing that Okay, that's the only thing I have to get used to with this with this tablet. Like sometimes my lines disconnect. I'm like, don't disconnect. This worked perfectly with um, my iPad, but th that was only a borrowed iPad <laughs> from my school. Um, uh, no, I wish they lived in Atlanta, but I still love your art and I've hit. <laughs> I didn't know you liked I've too. That's crazy. How do we have so much in comments? It's pretty funny. It's pretty funny to figure out. Okay, wait. I don't think this line was supposed to be there. It, we shall erase it away. And then I like to make sure all my lines connect so that the bucket tool is a lot easier later. <laughs> yes, I still use the bucket tool. I know there's other ways to get your base colors down, but I'm lazy. And I think the bucket tool has just um, been perfect for me. So yes. Yeah, a liner I think used to stress me out the most in terms of digital. I don't know. There's something about like the perfectionism behind it. But ever since doing this kind of method of like line variety over line perfection, um, I started um, being more relaxed about it. Uh, let's see. Yes, as determined said, I'm sure it wasn't that bad. Ate, did you see my request? No, wait, actually, you always remind me, Suki. Sometimes, um, yeah, there you go. I have it all chats now instead of just top chat. Okay, okay. Um, I'm back. Hi, hi Vars. Welcome back. Uh, let me see. Let me scroll up a little bit. Maybe. Eh. Okay, okay. My, my thing froze for a second. Uh, 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 can you draw Yashiro Nene? Oh, let me write that down. Nene. 
and Yashiro Nene. Wait, I lost it. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? <laughs> oh, here it is. Wait, no. Where'd it go? I swear I saw it, Suki, and then like. I lost it. <laughs> Can you send it again? Yes, that would be much easier because I, I had it and then I lost it. Um, check my community page. I drew an eight, the, the eight six. Oh, okay, right, 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 right. I'll, I'll check it after after stream here. Um, day, I won't be ch chatting much because I have to draw a Makima for my friend and live chat won't show me. No, you're good. You're good. Um, if you guys are like drawing along and if you need to go, by all means, you're good. Like I'm really here just to like um share my findings essentially um y'all what should i draw uh let's see willow what kind of what kind of animes do you watch i think my that's my number one question when someone asks like oh what should i draw i don't know like i feel like it should be something that that um you know like pick an anime for me and i'll try to think of a character oh my gosh oh my gosh okay there um i kind of want to change his eye shape let me actually look at his eye shape here. Oh, it's stuck. It's just stuck in my head. Yes, what determines that? You should draw Nezuko. Now that I think about it. I think Nezuko's eyes are really fun to draw. Um, like the gradient to pink. Um, here, let me louder our music a little bit. The gradient to pink... Um, and hot pink from the middle is really, really like satisfying to, um, to do, to do. I just like pink. <laughs> hey, why does he? Mm, I messed up something with the line art here. Boop. Has to be like more flat. Do the base first. Base. And then let's thicken it later. I think that's one thing I struggle with to this day. It's the this the eyeliner part, especially in digital. Not specifically like traditional, but in digital, like whenever I, I thicken the eyeliner part, I just like lose it. I'm like, wait, what was I doing? I don't remember. I don't remember. Um, but I kind of just wing it. Um, okay, Yashiro, Nene, and Hanako. Oh, okay, together. Let me write that down. X Hanako. Um, I'm playing games again while watching. Multitasking at its finest. Um, Anakin. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The PFP is Anakin. Wait, right? <laughs> Or you're asking me to draw Anakin. Which of the two? That song has been stuck in my head the whole day. No exception. Make it look easy. Do I want to pay homage to kind of the style here? Um, a little bit. A little bit. So that we can do a little bit of a style study. I think my favorite character from Tokyo Revengers is uh, Draken. Draken! Draken! Was there another one that I like? I'm trying to think. No, I think Draken was my favorite. Do I want to have his mouth slightly open? Nah, we'll just we'll just give him a frown. Wait, is he? Yeah. Let's see. What time is it? Thirty minutes, and we're still on the inking. Yeah, digital takes much much like slower for me. In general, general. Um, hi May, welcome to stream. May's very cute, very cute name. Um, draw a potato with Anakin's hair and face. Basically, burnt Anakin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh potato anakin overcooked 
Mm, does that sound horrible? Burnt. Draken is cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Draken is cool. They're all cool. I haven't, like, watched or consumed that much manga and anime about gangs or, like, you know, like, kind of the gangster life. Because I think that's a whole, like, it's a niche. It's a niche in anime, so it's pretty cool. Um... That was my first one, and I was like, oh, this is, this is like, it remind. I don't know, I, I, I was like, this reminds me of like a sports anime almost, because there's so much people in the cast, and it's all about like, not necessarily teamwork, but it's about camaraderie, you know what I mean? <laughs> Let's see, for his neck, do I even, do I even draw out his neck here? Let's look at the reference. So many, so many sabo. Here it is. Oh wait, no, he's. We're not even. We're looking down on him on mine, but we're not even looking down on him here. Okay, maybe I lost track. I lost the reference. We 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 strayed away. We we strayed away too much. We're just gonna, we're gonna do this from imagination. Because <laughs> I changed it. I changed it. <laughs> Dun. Um, dun, 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 dun. When you said Draken, my brain went directly to Kim Possible. Wait, is Draken Kim Possible the? Wait, no, wait, no. Now it's coming. Now it's like wait, wait. <laughs> Draken's the villain? Question mark. Kim Possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The father of um, Shigo, 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 Shigo. <laughs> Wait, why did I read it that way? Um, yes, 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 yes. Um, ah, cute. Very cute names. Bump. <laughs> Yeah, that my favorite part of digital is definitely the coloring, even though it's the one that takes me the longest. Sketching is my least favorite part, even though I've um I think I'm slowly starting to get better at it. My traditional is still better though. Bing bing bing, de 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 de. Hoi, hoi, hoi. Now I'm just gonna start singing random K-pop songs. If I can't play it on stream, <laughs> start singing it. Let's see, what does his shirt look like? Just a simple t-shirt. Nothing too complicated. So, Suki, this is a little thing for you. I've, the, the K-pop group, is actually already in Georgia. And they just posted that they went to the atlanta aquarium and my sister was like we should have went earlier what if we could meet them like out in the wild and i'm like you're right because the the aquarium i think is only a five minute walk from maybe i shouldn't be saying this out loud never mind i didn't say anything erase memories erase your memories <laughs> uh I would use, usually, um, I guess another tip, I would use the reference window to look at the big composition of everything. But because we're so zoomed in, I can't do that for this one. Um, I love this channel so much. I love how um, chill your streams, or is it chill? Oh, calm your streams are too. Thank you, Suki. I love um, being a com com accompanying, accompanying, com being company. Oh, my brain short-circuiting. <laughs> I love all your company as well. And also accompanying you guys, yes. You know what? We're just gonna keep the hand super simplified. We don't need to draw fingers today. <laughs> um, let's see, I drew like the collar there, but I feel like it makes sense to draw it over here. So we're gonna edit that. Do, do, do. How would this work? Like this. Mm, 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 there you go. There you go. 
what's your favorite K-pop group? Mine is BTS and Stray Kids. Mine is. Mm, 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 mm. Wow, I'm surprised you like Stray Kids. Um, I'm surprised you 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 like. Well, no, I'm not surprised you're into K-pop just because you know K-pop is a lot more uh, mainstream now. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I think I've is my my ultimate group, like my super super favorite group right now. I used to listen to a lot of TXT. As you can see, I like the bright poppy music. <laughs> um, I was into BTS when near the beginning i got into them 2014 um and then 2018 forward i kind of just like um got into other groups you know natural natural procession of life essentially but i mean they're successful and thriving so i'm proud of them so I'm assuming you like that, like the hip hoppy kind of style, because I think BTS and Stray Kids are very much the hip hoppy kind of style. I think I had a phase. Yeah, I had a phase that that was my main. Like, wait, what is Anatomy? Um, <laughs> I had a phase that I I really liked the hardcore hip hoppy kind of um style of K-pop, and then. I don't know something in the pandemic something changed all of a sudden because i used to not listen to girl groups because you know girl groups is like very bright and poppy like i'm not always in that mood but something changed in the pandemic and i was like really really am gravitating towards the really bright and poppy music so i got into twice then and all the other girl groups and then txt has really bright and poppy music as well so yeah that's kind of my 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 whole whole what pipeline pipeline um mm -mm. i don't really get into k-pop too much drama most of it 100 percent. trust me i came from um my peak k-pop days i was all like you know the whole k-pop twitter thing i was there i witnessed fan wars um and also like it's funny because people are like it's this generation of k-pop and i'm like no 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 i think fan wars has been a thing even before twitter like was popular with k-pop um i remember like back then it was bts and exo or exo or and big bang like those those groups kind of beefing with each other and it's funny because i'm a multi-stan so i stand everyone i don't care who wins and who gets more album sales or whatever so like um i was like in between all of that and the youtube comments back then were definitely funny like fan war straight up happening on youtube comments and I'm the type of observer, of watcher, of just like, yeah, I'm watching this with popcorns in my hand. Yeah, why is the hand like that? We're gonna fix it. <laughs> Anatomy. Okay, wait. Hand? Yeah, the thumb would definitely be down there. Whatever, we'll just assume it's there. Something like that. Like, make it, make it ambiguous so we don't have to think too much about it. But yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I totally understand it. It's not just that. I feel like... Not even fan wars. I feel like K-pop stands themselves. Um, not all of them. Not all of them. But the loud ones. The loud ones create a bad reputation for themselves. Just, you know, in general. In general. Um, I can say that because I'm a K-pop stan. So, um, do you watch Hell of a Boss? If so, what's your favorite character? No, I haven't. Mello actually recommended it to me. I'm um, saying like, oh, it's from the same creators as has been. Cartoons, I don't, I really never had like uh, exposure to them. Um, you gotta keep in mind, guys. I came from the, f oh wait, no, you guys don't know. But explanation of my lore a little bit. Um, I came from the Philippines and... Yes, we had cartoons. Like, I grew up with, like, Kim Possible, Spongebob, all the usual. Um, but I, like, at least my family. Maybe it's just my family kind of thing. Um, we were, I, they were already heavily into, what's it called? Into anime. So, like, I really grew up more with anime than I did with cartoons. My siblings, not so much. I think my siblings more... I think it's because I'm a firstborn and my, my parents, where parents 
young they were parents as college students um so i was exposed to anime very at that age so in terms of cartoons i never like you know i never got into it which is unfortunate because i think there's so many great cartoons that i've heard of and i know of and i know it's great but i haven't gotten to watching it like for example adventure time um uh steven universe uh there's like web cartoons as well just like has been in hell of a boss like yeah just never got into it and also like it's hard to get into things nowadays because i guess time i think time is of essence I feel like I'm always running out of time. Don't know why. Maybe it's just some psychology thing. But yeah, it's that. Okay, we'll keep it like that for now. It's a doodle. I just remind myself. It's a doodle. It's a doodle. All right. So my least favorite part, which is the base color right now, it's my least favorite step. Because, you know, it's per usual. You have to like... <laughs> let's make a folder before we start this. Let's make a folder. And let's put our base color in there. Um, and start with Mikey here. Our line art is is not actually complete. Hold on, <laughs> let me complete it. Um, but yes. Um, for the show, hey YouTube, finally rec recommending something cool. Welcome Oni. Welcome to stream. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad YouTube is recommending it. <laughs> I also love K drama. My favorite is Vincenz Vincenzo. Oh, you like the action K drama? It's been a while since I've watched K drama. I'm gonna say it's been a while for a lot of things. It's been a while since I've gotten into, into a lot of things. Um, and I think my most recent thing that I got back into media-wise is manga and anime. So I'm kind of just on that phase right now. Um, yeah, so I, I don't know. I don't remember what the last K-drama I watched. I think I watched one Netflix one called... What is it called? See, I don't even remember. A Crash Course in Love or something. And it's about a math teacher and... A mother oh, okay that sounds horrible never mind um no 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 no, no. it's not a, it's not anything controversial it's like never mind we're just not gonna talk about it. i don't know like how to explain it in a normal way but it's a normal show and it's a romance and it's wholesome they have family family um themes and everything how do i how do i pitch this show that it sounds normal there you go i'm a genius math tutor um, one of the main characters experiences some trauma and he has to heal from it and the other set of characters like his family who's his students and the students family too but nothing happens between the teacher and students okay it's between the family and the basically a warm family helping this poor man resolve his trauma there you go <laughs> started sweating there a little bit i think that's the best that's the best um description that i can think of of it it's good it's good good stuff um let me see here uh, uh um omi is a very cute name yes yes it is i remember the die hard fans swatting each other because they didn't like their opinions seriously that happened that's horrible that's absolutely i'm really good at living in a bubble in the internet especially um so like i haven't even heard of that news but i do know some crazy like crazy stories okay let's see my line art oh wait maybe it's because let's do her specific layer and let's choose the line art layer line art right here okay so that should be better okay there you go oh well we're just gonna have to do that one manually or actually is there a current layer one let's do not current layer canvas there you go let's do canvas and close this up with my with brush i think that should do it the trick oh, yeah i'm very messy with my no what did i do you know what <laughs> i like using these i like the lasso fill and lasso eraser for base so we can just do that um how do you draw those hands honestly I think it's because it's just a resting hand position that I got used to. This is the trick with hands, guys. I think I got this tip from Alan Becker or something. Ethan Becker? Question mark? 
Ethan Becker. He said that artists, if you actually study other artists, they do tend to draw their hands in like the same positions each time. Um, so study a set of hands that you really like and you find yourself kind of gravitating towards and you know like default to those hands really of course don't just like don't just stop there keep doing your hand studies and eventually you'll get to um drawing like hands from imagination but that's generally like um like a good tip to get to simplifying and making your illustrations kind of thing it's a style almost you know okay wait what was i doing Oh, my sister just came into the room. <laughs> I didn't even notice. Um, but yeah, uh, look up Ethan Becker and look up like how to draw hands. I think he talks about it there. Or something like that. I don't even know. I watch a bunch of Ethan Becker videos and I don't know like half the time like what the actual video is about. So that's a good channel. Um, also, I like any kind of K-pop. I love BTS, Stray Kids, Blackpink, Twice, Lee Seraphim, and Eugene's. Oh, okay, so basically like anything that you're able to... Uh, bucket tool bucket tool anything you're able to like um listen to in general okay okay that makes sense that makes sense honestly I'm, i think i'm i'm on that side now before i used to kind of stick to like one or two groups to kind of keep my focus there but now i'm just like whatever's popular i'm just gonna <laughs> just gonna stream kind of thing i think now i'm on like just girl groups i like girl groups now i i just listen to the bright and poppy music and i'm like ooh, catchy i'm gonna listen to that a little bit but i don't like i don't look it up anymore before i would like look up like ooh, let's see what the new and songs are and i'll like play that for like that week i think for now i'm more on the j-pop i have phases i'm on my j-pop phase right now so yes um proud filipino yeah brb yeah see you later determined uh, for me it's been a while since i read manga oh, okay makes sense I especially if you only read manga physical you know yeah, yeah, yeah oh one of my okay i don't know if i should be promoted anyways we all read manga le illegally right especially like um um what's it called especially oh wait where'd it go um for series that aren't even licensed i that's the only way i can like say <laughs> say that i do illegally um i didn't say that i didn't say that um because there's some manga that just aren't licensed and it's impossible to get your hands on um especially in my genre of manga so i read a lot of shoujo guys right so shoujo unfortunately is oh wait what am i doing this uh is unfortunately very underappreciated and um, 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 not a lot of series gets licensed and one of the apps which is an android app that i used to read um used to be like an open source app got shut down recently like when i say recent maybe a month ago recent and you know it was it was meant to be because people were abusing the app and whatnot whatnot wait does he have a black tracksuit let's make it red wait let's look up mikey in a tracksuit because what color is that Mikey tracksuit. Wait, if I look up Mikey tracksuit, will I actually get Tokyo Revengers? <laughs> Let's look up Tokyo Revengers specifically. But yes, um, I think I'm more of a manga reader. Even when I was like taking a pause. Oh, it's just black. Okay, okay. Even when I was taking a pause from, what is it called? From manga in general. Um, mm, 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 mm. I'm blanking out um not manga in media in media in general because like i had no time i think manga was my go-to mainly because you know it's easy to multitask not multitask i lied you can't multitask reading manga it's easy to do quickly there you go i can read like like i binged jjk in one night um like for example like that i hate that the bucket tool works with your fingers like do you guys see this like I have palm rejection on, but I guess it's a flaw in their design here. Okay. See what I mean? But I'm very messy with the base color because you can see all the missing, <laughs> missing white spots. Um, yeah, it happens. Uh, let's see here. Oh, bye, Willow. Bye, bye, bye. Uh, uh, um. 
<laughs> they struggling to reword her description not to get demonetized uh can i draw a girl before cole actually i'm having a hard time drawing him you can choose which girl should draw though has to be easy for me though um let's see girl i'm thinking i'm thinking i don't know what Give me an anime. Give me an anime first, then we can narrow it down to like a suggestion. Cause I'm blanking out, man. I think I've <laughs> I don't know today my brain just boop. Maybe because I didn't no, I have I have been sleeping well for the first time actually. Um I'm just blanking out. I'm blanking out. <laughs> it looks a little green, huh? That's okay. Um we'll have some off color. And then we need to do his t shirt, which should be in the upper layer here white let's do like oh wait that let's do just let's just do white okay and let's not make it too complicated lasso fill um last time i did digital art wednesday i drew itadori for once and it didn't look like a five-year-old made it yippee celebration <laughs> actually got to go i really appreciate you drawing mikey though it looks amazing yeah have a good day to her determine have a good day night um j-pop i love j-pop yes 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 so i've been listening more to i guess not j-pop i guess more j-rock you know how like a lot of mainstream japanese music is rock anyway so yes i've been listening to j-rock um who i don't know i just put on a random playlist mostly like i go to spotify and i'm like okay give me some j-pop j-rock and it'll just play and i'm usually just vibing with it so yes um i can neither confirm nor deny that information <laughs> i read manga <laughs> uh yes did you pack the soap yes it's all in my bag if you need to pack anything like big you can just stuff it in my bag so I'm just bringing the toothpaste. Yeah. Wait, did I not stuff this toothpaste back into my thing? Okay, okay. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay. Okay. Cool, yeah. Um. What's your favorite Japanese song? Mine is Shindigiwa Iwa Night Dancer in One Voice. Right now, the one that I keep playing. Okay, I'm gonna keep saying the same song because I'm literally like, I don't know why, guys, but I, I, I replay the same songs over and over again and i don't get sick of it <laughs> it's been like that since forever so i just replay um where is where our blue is uh jjk song right where our blue is i replay that i replay bluebird and i replay again and all of ado basically like all of ado's discography i just replay so and then i put it on shuffle so whatever plays after that plays um m draw gojo i guess okay there you go uh a suggestion you should draw kobeni from csm oh wait let me i think i drew kobeni as a request wait let me get that where did it go where did my uh oh did i delete it uh oh oh no oh no oh no you know what it's all in my mind <laughs> it's all in my mind okay so let's just draw the details of his um suit here and then we're just gonna quickly shade and do highlights here just to speed things up a little bit so i think his track suit has like these rings on his arm right here and um, i guess i won't draw it there and down here right there and then a hack that I found. Well, usually this is my usual process. Um, I'm gonna alpha lock my skin color, and I just like taking an airbrush right here, and then I don't know, taking some blush. I, I pick from these colors usually, um, and just doing a sh a blush, um, just to give them life. And wherever usually that there is shading, I will just kind of tap it into there, not too much. But just do that. Do that, do that, do that. Just a general, like, not too complicated. It's not the shadows yet, so we're good with that. And then for the hair, right here, 
I tend to also alpha lock and then take the skin color. I haven't been doing this recently, but it used to be part of my workflow. Um, and just, I don't know, like, oh, oh yeah, 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 like kind of spread it onto the hair here. It's not that noticeable, but it's on there. It's on there because it's like yellow. Yellow is very close to our color. So it's on there. Um, and then that's that's kind of just the basic base colors and then i was studying other people's like processes so this is at this point this is not my process this is somebody else's process um but i want to show you guys because it's like really cool and it really expedited my digital art here so i'm gonna have a multiply layer and i'm just going to bucket tool um current layer a dark shade it could be blue it could be purple i like using cool colors but it's up to you you can definitely switch it up um, but the general rule of thumb is if it's a cool colored shadow do a warm colored light so i tend to like doing cool colored shadow and a warm color light so that multiply keep it on there put down the opacity there you go so we've got our general shadow then new layer clip that oh yeah i forgot the clipping settings um i'm gonna do add which is like a blend mode oh i forgot this is a multiply layer add um blend mode for light and then for light it will depend on the mood of your drawing let's do like yeah I, since we did a cool shadow let's do a warm light i don't know maybe red maybe he's like oops yeah let's do something dramatic I like using the oops the the, the 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 mixer brush for this. The mixer brush is sort of like a painterly brush I have and then lowering the opacity so it's not too bright. Um and this is when the magic happens. All right, let's see. I'm going to just look at chat here real quick. I read manga from the library. Good job, Midna. That is the proper way. <laughs> I used to. I used to um any character oh yeah and uh, gojo there you go <laughs> um, 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 um. um anime spy family i think is good at the day then from spy family um uh <laughs> is it bad if i say anya anya um oof trying to have a chill game session but got absolutely ru run up by wolves no um oh yeah j-rock J like baby metal and utsupi they're really cool yes i love baby metal i don't i might have listened to utsupi and i just don't know because you know i just let my playlist go who is this you're drawing i'm drawing mikey right here from um uh tokyo revengers okay so this is when the magic happens guys first you need to find a light source so we're gonna pretend i'm just gonna doodle something up here um and mark our light source somewhere maybe up here it's good to have a reference actually let's do that i use this reference for sabo like get a reference that actually has lighting in it which is really cool um but through much experience you can kind of tell where the light falls on the face so if we look at this reference here the lighting is actually not coming from here the lighting is coming from this direction right here so it's coming from the left direction it, we'll just do a dot there just to just to kind of say that the lighting's coming from there wait a minute hold on there's two light sources one coming from there one and then maybe like a bounce light we'll just have i'll put an x here just to remind me that there's some bounce light happening over here okay so we've got the general lighting source there then back to our add layer i'm going to just softly add our light here and i guess this style is very dramatic in terms of lighting um so that is one i guess drawback to doing this i call it hack but it is it really hack i don't really sure um so let's make it big it's like there's some lighting coming from here it's a lot softer and i'm gonna keep even lowering it there's some lighting on the planes of the face hold on the planes of the face it would most likely fall on the nose here and it will most likely fall on the eyes here on the cheeks here anything that's basically sticking out on your face 
your the lighting will fall on so on your lips here too the lighting will most likely fall on that over here and i like to keep the opacity low if you guys look wait it's at eight percent right now which is really really low because add is very dramatic in terms of lighting and then there's like a small bounce light in the side here so i'm gonna just add a little bit of bounce light over here and honestly i'm using terms but not gonna lie guys i don't actually know what these terms mean so take it with a grain of salt <laughs> i'm just repeating terms from what i've heard from tutorials and everything and then like from there i'm just gonna add more lighting in places that i think exist this is where imagination kind of comes in and i'm like i think there's lighting there i'm not really sure but we're gonna add it anyway shirt over here yeah yeah totally and you know you can get as messy i'm sure there's like neater ways of doing this but i like to do it messy especially if it's a doodle like you know we can just keep this on the messy side oh yeah there should be some lighting that falls on the hand here this is the fun part because you can see your drawing really come to life and this is with minimal shading done on the base color guys i think that's why i love this process so much like i barely did anything to the base and it's already like giving kind of dimension okay so we can definitely adjust more there but for now i'm okay with what we have um let's see here yes yes oh i'll draw everyone from every anime <laughs> wait i'll give you a character um boom, 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 boom. Have I said Choso before? Was that another person? Choso. <laughs> I almost forgot Miyako's name, lol. You know Miyako, right? Ate day, my OC. Yes, I remember. Digital art? What is digital art? I wonder. <laughs> hi, Adrian. Welcome to stream. And also, hi, Jose Luis. Welcome to stream. Um, yeah, yeah, get Anya. Sanji's backstory broke my heart, though. Sorry for the very random saying, but I broke my heart. <laughs> ah, ah. I know there's a lot of, like, very um sad, sad backstories with One Piece one day guys one day we'll get to it okay so that's our lighting layer already it's looking kind of bomb and like whoa when i saw this hack on like a youtube i'll try to make a playlist of all the youtube videos i watch to get um tips from um but i'll find it later somewhere in my history i was like what I, how why have i never known this before because usually I, i'll show you guys my previous process what i used to do is you see how there's a multiply layer here i used to just get the um eraser tool eraser lasso tool let me duplicate this so i don't lose it and i used to just carve out um the lights basically so i'm like okay so i guess there's a light falling on his face here right right or i guess there's a light falling somewhere here on his hair and i would basically carve it out all of it out until like i have a cast shadow like that right well it's very messy but that's the idea but you know it creates a very harsh shadow and i'm like mm, it's not as like kind of what i want it to be that's one thing i struggled with the most but ever since finding the other hack i'm like i like this much better putting a general shadow and putting dramatic lighting it does limit the aesthetics of your drawing though so that is one downside to it and then on top of the light um i think but at this point you just kind of play around with a bunch of different lighting and shadows so i'm going to add another add layer and this time i'm going to do a yellow light um and then i'm going to do airbrush and just airbrush like parts that are kind of on the brighter side oh wait let's lower the opacity of that brighter side so like i don't know just kind of it's all like kind of feels feelings at this point i don't really have rhyme or reason oh wait there's another one there's another tip that i can that i can like tell you guys so on top of this, we have a no you can have a normal layer. Wherever the light and shadow separates, you see how these separations are? Get a very weird color. I don't know. Let's do like bright purple. And I like using the alcohol marker brush here. Where is it? Alcohol marker. Any flat brush. I like using flat brushes. This one just has... Um, whoa, this music is so intense. <laughs> this one has um, texture in it. So that's why I like using it. 
and then wherever the shadow and like lights kind of split up just, okay maybe purple is not a good i like using teal so let's do teal oh nope teal is not good okay this is good that this is happening let's say that you're like okay i'm gonna add my colors in i'm like weird color just to add some like coolness effect to it right right i don't actually know what this is called but pe artists do it and i'm like it looks so good so i just kind of go along with them <laughs> um and i'm like okay maybe green green is not it green is not it right so i need to like change my color and that's the beautiful part about digital art anything is possible so you just go to filter hue and saturation and then just play around with what kind of works so like that's red but i i don't know everything's kind of too warm in my eyes right now i want to kind of go on the extreme side so but maybe red will actually blue works blue works maybe we need to just have a more saturated blue here a more light blue no 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 more dark blue e e that kind of works that kind of works we just have to blend in certain areas so i'm gonna keep blue um so you see the blue kind of like sticking out between the shade of the red and the shadow here and then smudge will just help kind of soften oh wait did i undo it no no no, no. go back there you go smudge will just help blend everything out so wherever things kind of don't blend out right here smudge it out <laughs> That's literally, that's literally all I do. Um, and that's it. That's it. Like, you can go back and fix, um, like, definitely back in the base layer, we haven't colored the eyes. I'm going to go back and color the eyes there. And yeah, that really, like, expedited my drawing process. Okay, so let me look at chat here. I kind of stopped looking at chat for a while because lots of talking. Um... Bum, 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 bum. It works if it works. Yes, exactly. Fake it till you make it. Yes. At the day, you make me really happy. Aw. I'm glad. I'm glad. Y'all, Ducky is in love with Michael Jackson. Wait. Is she? Really? All right. So base color. Um, when you Just keep in mind, when you come back and fix things um, with the base color, it is going to be a, a funky color because you put all those layers in. So just keep in mind that. I think, what color is Mikey's eyes? I don't actually know blue maybe gray i think it's gray so we're just gonna keep it gray he has pretty empty eyes which is which makes sense which makes sense in his character yeah maybe finish the base color first before going funky with all the colors but i just wanted to like get kind of fi uh, finish it real quickly before we um run out of time or something Wait, I want him to be looking at us. So, wait, how do I do this? Mm. Something like that. And then an extra step is um, um, add layer from canvas. I just like taking all of all of that, go to that layer, and then literally at this point, you can just treat it as a traditional drawing eye drop from places and get a blending brush which is my mixer brush here it's really really helpful I, i'm pretty sure i stole this from somewhere online but i forgot who from where and what so and then just paint over it like things that you want to fix and everything to make it as fancy as you want but that's all like really like we're not going to do that now because that's going to take forever this is a doodle so <laughs> uh let's see here um lol i was oh i was anya for halloween everyone thought i was hermione from perry potter no it was because of the uniform um i was hermione last year for halloween hey that's cool um my sister my little sister was anya one halloween and my my dad dressed up as lloyd and my mom dressed up as uh as yor it was pretty cute um i'm not gryffindor though i'm a ravenclaw uh -huh, me too team ravenclaw i'm a slytherin hey let's go my brother's a slytherin how is it most people are slytherins oh you know a lot of slytherins Suki? that's pretty cool at the day how do you draw so good practice <laughs> most of my friends are gryffindors and ravenclaws i think most of my friends are huh gryffindors i think yeah most of my friends are gryffindors before i was into anime i was super into nintendo and harry potter 
I am also a Nintendo fan. Harry Potter, not so much. I don't think I grew up with Harry Potter. My parents did, though. My parents love Harry Potter. Ate, what is Mikey sitting on? Absolutely nothing. His legs are, his feet are also missing. So, <laughs> I watched SpongeBob too. Um, Potterheads are in the chat. Hey, who loves Cinema Roll? I love Cinema Roll. Actually, yeah. Now that you're here, Diamond, let's draw Maharaga as a chibi. So let's look up some references for that. I'm gonna blind you guys momentarily. Hold on, let me. Oh wait, no, my my brightness is already low, but it's gonna be bright on my homepage. So boop. Oh wait, no, it's not. What in the world? Why was it bright before? Anyways, um, we're gonna look up Maharaga, the one and only Maharaga. That's how he looks like, and we'll just draw him chibi. This one will a lot be a lot more simpler. Now that I've showed you guys kind of what I discovered in terms of my process of lighting and everything, we're gonna do much more simpler drawings now. Mikey just got the special treatment here, but isn't it cool? I wanna show you guys the rosy drawing I did too. I know Mello's not here, but keep it a secret that I did rosy without her. Oh no, an ad. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Give it like 30 seconds. Um, skip. Thank you. Where's the X? Thank you. Okay, I want to show you Rosie. Even Rosie turned out cool with that method. Like, I followed the same exact method and look at her. Like, anyways, back to Mikey here. Let's draw Maharaga next. Add reference. Maharaga. Wow, the Mikey drawing took me a whole hour, but that is because we did fancy Mikey. So now let's do Maharaga and let's, I don't know, let's challenge ourselves and just doodle it, I guess. Um, me too, but I love Guditama and Pom Pom more. I think my favorite is, well, right now it's Kuromi. That is me being very, very biased. <laughs> um, Okay, let's draw Maharaga here. How do I draw him chibi? Now that we have Mikey kind of finished, I know this is gonna hurt. But I'm literally going to delete everything below us. Because we're doodling anyway, so. Boop, boop, boom. Boom. Next. Maharaga next. Let's try to see if we can draw Maharaga from this from the get-go. If everyone has seen Harry Potter, I want to go full Potterhead. Go ahead, go ahead. I give you the leeway. Um, I think I've seen all of it movie-wise. So, yes. That's why I guess I can't fully say I'm, I'm like a Potterhead because I haven't read all the books. I've only read two of the books. Mikey is now officially levitating. Hello, I drew Maharaga today too. Hey, let's go. Um, am I the only one who wants to be friends with Gyutaro? I want to be friends with Gyutaro too. I think he deserves so much more love. Both of them, both Daki and Gyutaro has really unfortunate, like, um, how do I draw him as a chibi here? I <laughs> get the chibi cheeks. No, 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 let's, let's keep his, like, chiseled, like, shape here. Um, but yeah, I think they have had the most unfortunate or, like, tragic kind of story in terms of the demons so i would be friends with them and like absolutely defend them if we met and you know like yutaro is such a caring brother so it makes sense um rip toriyama yes rest in peace toriyama big part of my childhood was dragon ball um Wait, I love Kerapi. Oh, yes! Kerapi the frog. Kerapi's cute. I think Kerapi used to be my favorite. Uh, we went to, like, Build-A-Bear, and we we were, like, doing Sanrio characters, and I got Kerapi back then. Look at him looking all so fierce. Let's draw some of his veins. Question mark markings. I want to start reading um, JJK again once, um, what's it called? 
once like at least 20 chapters are out i keep seeing spoilers and i don't know what's up with the fandom and spoilers but i guess that's in every fandom so i'm just like excuse me i'm trying not to get spoiled so i've blocked every like account <laughs> that does spoilers i'm like well not on youtube you can't block it on youtube um on like other social media platforms i'm like look we are trying to stay spoiler free i think i've gotten fairly spoiled over everything <laughs> but you know i'll eventually forget about it in the far future when 20 chapters are out <laughs> okay because he's chibi wait because he's chibi we could draw his body really small dude i don't actually know how the rest of his body looks like let's get another reference picture this one whoa he looks so cool that is pretty epic download image add reference there you go where'd he go Oh, wait, did I add the wrong reference? Yes, I did. There you go. So he's just muscly. With, like... A thing... Uh, a thing... Yeah, fists, and then... Fists... How do I simplify this? And his fist has... A thing... <laughs> There has a sword. Band aids, band aids, band aids, band aids, band aids, band aids. Do, do, do. And then let's make his like squatting kind of feet position here. Um. I was so sad when Cedric died because he was so cute. Oh, right. A lot of people, um, a lot of people, not just him. Well, who was the other one? There was another, wait, was it just Cedric? I forgot. I started watching Fluffy Fluffy Cinnamon Roll, but I want to see if my school has all the volumes. Oh, cool. So, um, your school has, um, the Sanrio DVDs, maybe? Sanrio DVDs? That's pretty cool. My school, my school barely had any manga, unfortunately. But I guess it makes sense. Makes sense. Maybe that's not something school friendly. But my public library actually had a lot of like anime. I kept up with all of the Conan, um, Naruto, Inuyasha. What other ones did I read from the school? Public school. I mean, public. What's not public school? Public library. Public library. Um, Bleach. And I don't, I don't remember half of the, remember the other half, something like that. Um, be back in a minute. You're good. Um, I like potatoes. Me too. Who's your favorite, favorite JJK character? Uh, mine is Yuji. Here, I'll rank all of them in order. Yuji first and then Choso second. And then Gojo third, as I begrudgingly like to admit it. At first, okay, honestly, I was one of those, I was one of the haters. Like, what's, you know, the usual, like, mindset of, like, I don't like popular characters, blah, 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 whatever. <laughs> and um, I was like, at first, I was like, what? I don't get the hype around Gojo, blah, 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 blah. Um... I was wrong because he's now my third favorite character and I think he's cool. <laughs> so now Gojo is one of my tops. And everyone else, I think I can fairly say I love everyone else equally, even the villains, on the same level. On the same level. So yeah, top three is Gojo, Choso, Yuji, and then everyone else are kind of like equally loved in my in my pre preferences in my eyes ah does gege count i always put i always say gege is like one of my favorites too <laughs> gege is top four top four then top five is like everyone else <laughs> um and then he has like a he has a belt and he has like a what is that 
I'm not really sure. A hole? A belt? I think it's just a belt. Do, do, do. Um, what are your favorite JJK characters? Suki says Itadori. Yup, me too. I hate Gojo now because... <laughs> Oh, because of JJK Zero! Makes sense. Makes sense. Wait, did he kill that dude? I actually don't know. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Um, and Homeless Toji. Look, okay, think about this for a second. The only reason Toji was homeless is because he gambled all his money away. Literally everything Toji did, he kind of called onto himself and you can say like yes he was traumatized whatever so what other characters were traumatized do and they're not gambling their money away so <laughs> but i'm also a toji defender as much as i like to joke around and like um say toji's like bad um i am also a toji defender because i don't know like what was my i'm a, i like was teetering between the idea of like is toji a good father obviously not but I think people need to be less crucifying over him. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think he deserves forgiveness. He wasn't a good father, but I think he deserves forgiveness. I forgot my argument, so I can't, I can't say it now. <laughs> I forgot. I, was, I had an argument for it because my friend and I were, were debating. But I'm like, I do not remember anymore. Okay, just to kind of like solidify this i'm going to make the outline thicker and the inner thinner inner thinner hey that rhymes oops i adjusted my brush too early let me make that am i losing my voice i think i'm losing my voice guys i sound like tired but that's, i think that's me losing my voice this is weird Doo -doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. Oh wait, no. This is the outline right here. Have you have I ever showed you guys my Choso Yuji sticker? I want to show you guys. Um, I have a Choso Yuji sticker. Um, did I not save? I don't think I saved it yet. It's on my. It's on another app. Krita, Krita. Hold on. Did I delete it? Oh, here it is. Krita. I think it's still open. Let's see if it loads. Um. Whoa, it's so dark. It's so weird. Um. <laughs> Miguel? Yeah, I don't think he killed Miguel. Yeah. I don't remember that. I think... Didn't he just, like, stop him and then transported to stop Ghetto or something? Choso on top, though. Yes. Agreed. Only 32 hands of Blackjack to be worth more than Elon Musk. Wait, why? What's the reference? Make Maharaga ride his wheel. Oh, I forgot he had a wheel. No, I don't know. I don't know. I've never... Oh, here it is. Um, Autosave? Open the autosave file. Open the main file. Open the main file. Oh, no! Okay, whatever. I don't know. Ta-da! I drew Choso and his family. <laughs> I love them so much. They're my favorite. Anyways... You guys, you guys figured out that I like found family tropes? Yeah, I like found family tropes. Um, who is Suki? I wonder. <laughs> Guess who this mom and dad are day? Wait, what? Who mom and dad? Like, are you like gonna describe them? Why is the music so intense? No, just no judgment. I like it. It's different. Oh, it's the Elden Ring music. <laughs> it's the Elden Ring, Ring music as per, as per requested. I figured out um that that a bunch of video game music is actually not copyrighted in streams so you know we're just kind of playing whatever video game like ost it is per stream kind of and it just happens to be that um Zvezda requested elden ring so we have, they have pretty intense music it's pretty cool though i really really like it ding, ding. Um, so cute at the day. Yeah, isn't he so cute? It's not like he murders and kills. <laughs> uh, man, it's hard because like Megumi, you know, Megumi is the one who summoned Maharaga and everything, right? Someone brought up the point 
um, you know, people always like debate and theorize and put out their opinions. But someone, you know, how Yuji was like, I'm guilty. I killed all of Shibuya. And oh, wait, this is spoilery. If it doesn't, if anyone doesn't want JJK spoilers, let me know. I'm just gonna stop talking now. I'll wait, like, I'll give it like three minutes until someone replies. Do -do 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 -do. Play specialist from Persona 4, please. Okay, we'll take a break from that and we'll play one other song. Let's see, though. I'm going to check the description. I think generally the description, if it's copyright, it'll have like YouTube music labeled on it. But if it's not, then we can play it. Search specialist. Persona... Oops, why am I spelling everything wrong? Specialist Persona 4. Okay, wait. Let's mute it for now and check the description. Where are you? Extended Specialist. This one. Team Topic. Wait, 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 wait. This is official video. I don't want to risk it description okay so i don't see a youtube music label here so i think we're on the good side at least that's on my theory we'll test it if it's copyrighted oh well i don't really i don't mind too much actually i don't think it affects me too much unless monetization but eh, we're not monetized so we're good here let's upper it a little bit is this it this is the right song um no spoilers please okay okay i won't say anything i won't say anything i've dropped the topic now <laughs> i stole your son <laughs> oh so you're a megumi fan i think megumi's very popular when i did when i wasn't into um jjk yet um, and I was talking to a few people about JJK, and I just saw a lot of love for Megumi. Or maybe it's just the people I... Maybe it's just the people I... What is it called? I've talked to. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, the people that I've talked to are, uh, talked to are probably very similar to Megumi. In terms of demeanor, that probably makes sense why Megumi is their favorite character. Oh wait, out of all the characters of JJK, for those who have watched it, who is the closest to your personality? Hmm... For me... Hmm... Maybe I'm closest to Choso, in terms of personality. Just because Choso is very, like... Family oriented. I don't know if that's a personality, but he made it his personality and I'm gonna make it mine. <laughs> Choso, because of that. And also, I don't know. Like, there's something about his rage that feels justified. So, justified rage kind of thing. So, yes, Choso. There you go. We drew Maharaga. Wait, he turned out so cute. What should I color him? Let's see. What's his color? Oh, he's just white black and white oh he has the symbols let me draw that i don't know let's let's make it simplified though so we're just going to oh wait let's check out i could play more persona 4 music but i'm just gonna check out the description here okay okay Browse games. Yeah, I think we're safe. I think we're safe with Persona 4. So we're gonna play that. Yeah, 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 yeah. For the last 30 minutes of stream here. Cool, cool. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, um, you are my specials. I wish I could play JJK music, but I think that, like, anime music is 100%. Um, copyrighted unfortunately um all the jk jk characters need much therapy 100 percent 100 percent 
it would be funny to have like a funny bit of like being JJK character therapist like <laughs> yeah no no I can't even imagine even then honestly even with therapy I think a lot of their things won't be solved because really like how can you recover from that much death and I don't know darkness from the curses and everything I'll keep it like that. I'll keep it like that. Alright! We drew Maharaga. Wait, let me clean it up. Okay, I'm being very finicky, but this is just... This is therapeutic. This is this is really calming for me. Okay, so we did Maharaga. What were the other requests? Who are still here? Whoever's still here? Um, let me know who should I draw next. Um... If we're doing song requests, next, could you do the door from the Chainsaw Man soundtrack? I can't do the anime soundtracks, unfortunately. I think those are actually like copyrighted, copyrighted. But I'll research more. I'll see if they're actually possible, but I don't know. I'm testing out my theory with Persona here at Eat too, so I'm not 100%. <laughs> I guess this will be the test. Um, probably Gojo, I don't know. Okay, so you're like more on like the spontaneous, like, um, like spontaneous um more kind of egoistic but not in a bad way kind of thing kind of type of character um i don't know who do you think at the day for you suki i think um hmm, i want to say utahime without her temper so utahime is one of the teachers of jjk and she teaches the other class the wait what's the other class from from another section of tokyo i forgot um you know her but without the temper because she gets really mad at gojo so um let's see gojo but in the morning choso or megumi okay in the morning you have like lower energy and then eventually over time you gain that energy cool so cute, I almost forgot he's an eldritch horror meant to slaughter people in curses like lambs. Yeah. Wow, stream has gone by so fast today. I know. Oh my gosh. Every stream goes by fast to me because I'm like just drawing. So I'm like, oh my gosh, next drawing, next drawing, next drawing. And then I like look at the time and I'm like, man, two hours have passed. Um, I don't know what to say. I'm bored. It's okay, Diamond. Sometimes this is what I like to tell younger people. I think my my oh wait, what is that? guys oh that's my hand oh my gosh i got so scared i was lo i was looking at the vod or like my screen and you know it's delayed right and i saw like this floating thing and i'm like oh it's just my hand oops <laughs> anyways i like to tell young people that it's okay to be bored like it's not a negative thing sometimes you just have to let your mind be bored you know um basically just teaching them how to cope yeah i think that would be better instead of like just talk therapy like what are ways that you can release some of this negative energy that you get from your missions or maybe have a better like wait where did my pen go i can't find my pen okay guys uh oh <laughs> uh, where'd it go where'd it go um let me let me turn on the lights for a second i'm gonna blind you guys for a second so maybe look away oh wait no it's not too bright eh? What? What? Did I like lay it down somewhere else by accident? Hello? <laughs> Wait, did I did I drop it? I can't see. I'm blind. Okay, guys. Wait. Let me just stand up. Where did I, where did I put it? Oh, here it is. I put it on top of my shelf. Okay. 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 Let me lower this a little bit. I found it. <laughs> I found it. Um, Kobeni from Chainsaw Man. Okay, let's do Kobeni. Um, oh yeah, the Yashiro and Hanako one. Um, 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 man, I didn't know. I don't know the order that I drew it. And Mustang, Mustang from Full Metal. Um, I'll do Kobeni for now. Maybe like we can just do doodles from now on instead of coloring. So we'll kind of just get through them fairly quickly or maybe i can just do like chibis of all of them yeah we can do that since we're at the la last stretch of stream here 
doodles. Let's just doodle all of them, which is what I actually meant for this screen to be, just doodling. Um, but I ended up kind of being a little extra with, with Mikey there. So Mikey took up an hour. <laughs> But at least hopefully you guys got something out of that. I don't know. I just like sharing my discoveries um, for the day. For the day. Because I never knew that that technique existed. I always thought that people just carved out or added shadows first. Oops. Added shadows first before... Um... Oh no. I have an ad, I think. Oh, I know. Very good. I added shadows first before light, but I never, I never knew that you could add light first and then go in with the shadows. Really, really interesting perspective there. All right, let's just sketch Kobeni here. Kobeni's very pretty. I feel like I haven't even watched CSM yet, but I know that I'm, I can, I, I know that I'm gonna kin Kobeni already. <laughs> let's just merge this down and then do another layer here and let's do just a sketch layer do, 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 do. where's my pencil do i want to wait what is this pencil i've actually oh wait that's a nicer sketch pencil i don't know where i got this from <laughs> okay we can use that instead of my mechanical pencil because my mechanical pencils settings is messed up here um Let's see, are you able to draw Elizabeth Afton, but anime version? Ooh, that sounds so fun. Hold on, we'll see if we can get to it today, but definitely save it for the next stream, if anything, you know? I really, I don't know, I've been like really enjoying digital. Surprise, surprise, even though I seriously hated it like a few weeks ago. <laughs> um, so we'll see, I think I might do digital again next, next stream. Which will be... Wait, am I able to stream Monday now that I think about it? I think I'll be able to. I think I'll get home by then. Because I'm going home from Georgia Monday. Um, yes. Yeah, so basically now I'm just going to I'm just gonna sketch directly from reference. I don't know, maybe stylize it a little bit with my style. Uh, yes, just to kind of speed things up here. If I constructed every single one of these from a new, like perspective then it's going to take double the time so let's just do some sketches here um i'm not a big on jjk but i believe sukuna let chaos take the world honestly i think sukuna is also one of my tops now that i now that i'm really thinking about it i don't know i'm i'm on your side of like i really like the villains of jjk i like the chaos that they bring in a lot of people hate mahito which is fair which is fair but i also love mahito for the very reason of like he's just pure evil like gege just knows how to write pure evil characters and i love that <laughs> love that let's see she has a suit just basic suit tux, right? I think so. We can just... A tie. Really, the most important thing about Kobeni is um, her expressions. Her face. What was I saying about Kobeni? Right, right, right. I haven't even watched CSM yet, but I think I already can... <laughs> I already relate to Kobeni a lot. <laughs> Ears... I remember drawing her with very like maybe we'll draw her like that today um oops um with very stylized very pretty eyes before oh no the csm characters just kind of give off that vibe of like very pretty very pretty characters ikiman but girl version i guess how do you explain that um b shoujo maybe um ba -ba -bum. yes chibis are perfect kobeni is pretty yes all of the as i was saying like all of the csm characters are very um very very pretty i i think it might be the eyelashes that make them con uh, uh on the prettier side you know oh wait let's do smaller
I think, how did I do it? I think I did like shoujo kind of top type of eyes on Kobeni back then. Let's try to do that again. Like very sparkly. Do -do 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 -do. Mm -mm, no, 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 it's not working out. It's not working out here. We we'll just... Oops. Just do that. Beep, beep. Really like the eye shape on that. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, wait. It's too low now. We need to increase it. Um... I'm very tired, not sleepy because of practice. My math competition is in five days. I've been practicing three hours a day. You can do it. Cheering you on. Cheering you on. Hopefully, the stream serves as a rest for you. Yes. Um, Mahito can catch these hands. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. I knew it. A lot of people really, really like Mahito gets on their nerves. But, I don't know, I think he's such a fun character. Like, I love how much he, like, teases as he fights. But also, I love how, like, ridiculously um, egoistic he is. Like, naive, too. Like, a child. He's basically a child. He's a man-child. Um, thinking, like, oh, he owns the world. He's the most powerful. He can, like, control people at will and life at will and, like... I don't know, just that's so pure evil to me. I love it. I love it in the best way possible. But also, like, I don't know. I guess just, I appreciate it from a character writing perspective. Um, I have pure evil evil characters, too. One of them is Corey, my OC. Ooh, morally evil characters. Yes. I think that's one thing I haven't explored yet in terms of my writing. Um... Oh, I forgot that you, you're supposed to flip. Them. Let's look at Flip Mikey. Okay, he doesn't. He didn't turn out too bad. Maharaga, little skewed, but that's okay. Okay, yeah, the one hundred percent. We're gonna fix that. <laughs> why? Why is he? Why is she so skewed? Hold on. When in doubt, use the liquify tool. You love the liquify tool. Ah, <laughs> not that big. Back, 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 okay, there, there you go, why is she so slanted, I think it's my, the angle that I'm drawing at, okay, good thing we flip, I always hate that, I always forget to flip my canvas till the very last minute, I'm getting better though, I'm getting better, um, I thought you said chibi ate, not an actual drawing, Oh, right! I said I was gonna do chibi on all of them. <laughs> just for Kobeni, just for Kobeni. I think I got too excited and wanting to draw Kobeni, like, um, prettily. Yeah, I'm definitely drawing Kobeni more stylized to um, my style. Cutesy, more on the cutesy side. Don't worry, we'll get to... We'll get to more drawings here oops eyelash 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 what time is it 9 47 okay we still have time we still have time and then she has like a kind of crooked mouth and eyebrows kind of yeah eyebrows and then her hair is flip this again We'll just use the special lasso fill tool for her hair. Pew pew. Oh no, I hate it. Oh no, 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 we're not doing that. I lied. No, but we need to do it. Let's see. Mmm, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, wait, no. This is, mmm, maybe. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> Okay, wait, we just need to move it down. <laughs> this is why I love digital. <laughs> okay, we just need to move it down a little bit. 
No, 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 wait, that made it look worse. Back, back, back. I think it's just the hairline. I just need to fix the hairline. When in doubt, liquefy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. And then I just have to, like, clean it up with an actual brush here. Let's do a hard brush, which is my inking brush. And just do random strands to cope. <laughs> um, um, hello, Goofy. Welcome back. Who is sad in JJK? Whoever that is, I'm them. I think Megumi is the saddest for me. Megumi and um, Ghetto. Ghetto, actually. Ghetto's the saddest. Um, yes. Ghetto has the most unfortunate end. Someone um, on TikTok um, read... Um, wait, why is it doing that? Read the documents to Ghetto's mission, which is featured in the anime, but not really discussed. And how everything kind of went down. I won't spoil it. I won't spoil it. I won't say anything. But let's just say after finding out that information. Oh my goodness. Um, very heavy stuff. <laughs> Anyways. Um, <laughs> literally anytime I discuss anything JJK is just cry. Crying noises. Sob. Okay, there you go. We're done with Kobeni. Okay, okay. N then, um, Hanako. Hanako. Let's draw them together. Hanako and Nene. Hanako Nene. What time is it? Oh, nine more minutes. Okay, this might be the last one that we're gonna work on. I don't know why, but I'm sitting like a gremlin right now. Cute! Look at them! Oh my gosh! Download. Oops. Add reference. Um, I like his character, but his actions were unforgivable. Yes, I 100% agree. I think more so I like... Um, yeah, I like how his character was made. Like, I like the whole childlike innocence, but also in the most twisted kind of way and how he's a brat like you know like that kind of characterization i think is very like i don't know it's also more satisfying that we got justice against him kind of like <clears throat> like yeah, yeah yeah something like that i don't know how to explain it along those lines all righty oh wait what did i do with this pill i don't remember okay let's switch colors let's do something warmer um always oh, have something to tell to arctic i think she's i think she's here m um or maybe maybe not i think arctic might have went already um y'all who should i edit give me an anime and then i'll give you a here let's just draw wait look i'm trying to think let's do like a quick quick construction let's see let's try to do speed run speed run doodle heart hands mm. get closer closer there Doo -doo 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 -doo. oh this is like perfect music for me trying to rush this let's just lower that Okay, let's see if I can draw them right from the get-go. This is my first time drawing Nene, so I'm sorry if I don't do them justice. But here we go. Um... Megu Ghetto combination of Ghetto and Megumi. Yes, there you go. Combination of Megumi and Ghetto. That's so unfortunate. That actually hurts my heart thinking about that. Honestly, though, think about it. When you said you were like Gojo too, I guess there is a hint of like misfortune on Gojo's side as well. 
um i don't know just the fact that infinite the infinity of gojo he's kind of just doomed to not um be close to anyone ever in his entire life so there is a sense of kind of sadness in there as well unfortunately yeah so i guess gojo too in that circle gojo megumi ghetto anyone related to gojo just meets unfortunate i feel like i'm speed running right now which i am do, 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 do. Oh, six minutes. We can do this. Wait, it's gonna be a challenge. Let's see. Let's see. Wait, this is actually so fun. Uh, kanji. Poop, 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 poop. Poop, 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 poop. Something like that. He's like very cheeky. Cheeky smile. Look at him. Okay, kind of, kind of wonky chin here, but that's okay. It's a doodle. Bum, bum, bum. And then his hat. Just give him a quick a hat here. Something like that. We're gonna draw over Maharaga a little bit. That's okay. Something like that. And then his hands. Suit be right here. For shortening. Totally. And then hands. Wait, if you make a hard hand heart, the thumb will be in the back. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> something like that. I didn't think about this. You know what? We should have just not drawn this line right here. There you go. His sleeves there. And then Nene's dress. Wait, I don't know. Oh no, she has a schoolgirl outfit. I don't know. I don't. I don't fully see. We're just gonna. We're just going to wing this. Why is his ear like that? <laughs> and then Nene has these, these eye shape. Right there. Time. Four more minutes. Okay. Wait. I think we're gonna finish. Um. I'll read all the chats. Hold on. Let me just give me a second. <laughs> No, my foot is going numb. I just like got off of it. Now it's like doing the tingles. Ow, ow, ow. I shouldn't have sat that way. Okay, okay. Dun, 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 dun. And then his her, her eye shape is sort of like Pokeball, kind of. Interesting. No, 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 no. Bigger. You know what? We're not gonna do the Pokeball shape. We're just gonna do... And a little bubble. And then... Give her a smile. I don't know how often she smiles, but... We'll... Work with it. And then her hair, she has like these cute little bangs. Oh, speaking of cute little bangs. I cut my bangs again recently. And I messed up. I stretched it too far. <laughs> And now I have I have choppy bangs. <laughs> of all the times I've had to do it, it had to be before the concert. <laughs> That's okay. I'm rocking the bangs. She kind of looks like Anya the way I drew her. My bad. I think it's because I got practice with Hanako already, so Hanako was a lot easier for me. Um. So she has some side pieces here. And I think maybe I just have to make her chin smaller. Let's do that. Adjust this. Time. Two minutes. Two minutes. Oh. I think I just have to make her face smaller in general. Okay. Transform time. <laughs> Transform. Gonna be a little messy, but something like that. I don't know. I don't know if that made a difference, but it's something. Okay, there. 
that's more of a side view than, than what we were initially stuck at. Oh man, I chose a really bad reference picture for Nene here. I don't actually know. Does she have a clip here? Yes, yeah, she does. I want her hair to kind of just be bouncing up here. Oh no. Oh no. I don't have a full picture of Nene. One minute. <laughs> Let's just... Okay, okay. She has side pieces. She has beads. Tied up hair. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Information. Information process. So her side pieces come up here. One, two. Up here. One, two. And then goes down. Panic, panic, one minute. And then that's a schoolgirl outfit. Yep, 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 yep. That's her hand right there. <laughs> there, done! <laughs> Wait, I don't know if I did ever do that in frame. 10 o'clock, let's go, speed draw! And just a heart. Heart. Okay, now I can read chat. Okay, okay, I'll read chat for the rest of the stream. I'll let you guys kind of see all the doodles here. All uh, right, there. Okay, okay, okay. Mm, I wanted to see Yuji smash his face in so bad. Yeah, I think that's why I love Mahito so much. Because I think the way he was written, it made us like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. From that perspective, it made us like feel like more more justice. Like, uh, not desperate, but more justice. Like, please, please beat him up kind of thing. Um, Let's see... It's only Saro, MHA, and Himen, no. Oh, wait. I often don't hate on characters, but if I do, I want to hate them until the end of, er of the Earth. It's only Saro and Himeno from CSM. Really? Saro from H MHM? I wonder why Midna. I'm curious. Did Saro do something that I don't know? Um, 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 um. Oh, there you go. M is here. M is here. Yes. Arctic is M now. Haven't seen this anime, but that girl looks like Aerie from My Hero. Yes, actually, you're kind of right with the silver hair and everything. Um, yeah, kind of. Um, you know what? Maybe I can binge this on the on the trip instead of drawing. You better bet your butt I'm gonna be drawing on the trip, on the road trip. Um, what is it that you want? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Gojo's situation is realistic. A lot of people get pretty detached when put in such a high expectations or after the loss of people close to them. Yeah, I, I, that's also why jo Gojo is like one of my top characters now because he's written so complexly. As much as people say Gege hates Gojo, I can't fully agree with it because he, writ he wrote Dojo the best. So like how can you hate a character and not write them like badly you know what i mean like he wrote him really well so you know um i really need to catch up a tbhk manga oh yeah i want to start it time <laughs> everyone was counting down yeah um i loved watching him get his butt beat yes i am a hanako stan i think i think i might be on a, a sukasa stan i know sukasa is like the evil twin but i really like his voice actor so we'll see no because sarah looks like an off-brand nintendo me no <laughs> No, not the off-brand Nintendo me. Uh, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. That's an author thing. We can blame Horikoshi for that. <laughs> um, uh, Sukuna is definitely his favorite. Oh, you know what? Sukuna and Toji. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, Sukuna gets too much leeway, I think. But I think it's okay. I like it. I like that <laughs> Sukuna is his favorite. Dave, you are my favorite um, artist. Thank you. Thank you. No, you're good. Um, wait, who are my favorite artists? Me. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you for joining me, guys. Um, it was very fun. I want to go to New Jersey. Oh, I used to live in New Jersey. Uh, Sukuna got the thickest of plot armors. Yeah, exactly. Right? Like, he just gets a lot of leeway. Um he wouldn't even exist without yuji like like he's so lucky to have yuji honestly because who else could be a vessel for sukuna like he owes it to yuji as much as he hates yuji i'm like look here buddy you and i we need to talk because the only reason 
<laughs> the only reason you're able to be here right now is because of our boys. So, um, I'm a Barbie girl in the Barbie world. Bakugo, wait, you want me to play it? Um, let's do fine. I'll play it for today. I'll play the ending song for today. 30 seconds of it since we're kind of wrapping up in chat anyway. Bakugo, uh, Red Eye Circulation. I actually really love Bakugo's voice actor. He actually acts a lot in voice acts a lot in, um, what is it called? In, uh, in Otomis. He has a lot of roles. So he's pretty good. He's pretty good. Okay. Let's see. Dun, dun, dun. Um, more planning than luck. I think the only one who's got the planning down is Kenjaku. I really respect Kenjaku for that. Uh, won't spoil though. Yes, I get the, I get the context. And he, again, like the only reason he's here is because of um, of what Kenjaku planned. Like if Kenjaku wasn't there, he wouldn't be able to come back. So I give that credit to Kenjaku, not Sukuna. Cause what did Sukuna do? Ah, it's done! No! <laughs> that was so quick! Um, so, okay, anyways. Bye, everyone! Bye, everyone! Bye, bye, bye! Uh, you're my favorite streamer and YouTuber. Thank you, Goofy. Um, who should I draw? Um, since you said CSM, Fami. That's the only other CSM character I know. Fami. Um, oh, wait, but you might not be a manga reader, because I think Fami is still only in the manga. Power. Power. Um... They please read the Demon Slayer manga, please. One day. Okay, fun fact. I went to the public library today and I saw two volumes. Only two, guys. It was like volume three and volume like 16. I'm like, oh my goodness. That's how little our selection is of the Demon Slayer manga. After the season, I will be... Oops, so dark. I will be, um, I will be reading it. So, yes, I want to finish the season first before I read it. Um... Wait, guys. Okay, okay. I'll wait a little bit, Goofy. What's up? What's up? Bye-bye. Thank you for accompanying me. Thank you for requesting. It was very fun to draw digitally for uh, once. Uh, uh, for once? For once. For once. Yeah, the last stream of the week. So no, no streams on the weekends. We'll see you guys Monday. I know I missed two days this week. That's why this week went by really, really fast. Um, but rest assured, I am healed now. So... We should be, um, we should be, um, whatchamacallit, we should be set for next week. Fingers crossed. I don't want to jinx it. I don't want to jinx it. So, yes. Okay, Goofy, did you get your last, um, question out? Question out? If you had a question for the other people. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. There's a penguin emoji. When we, uh, when we, when I get to it, I don't know. I think maybe I have to reach a certain milestone in my channel. I want to make stickers for you guys here oh my gosh there's so many stickers look at that so cute i'm like looking at them now oh there is a penguin one that is so cute oh my gosh yeah see you monday good night good night all right i'm gonna i'm gonna close out now good night good night